Stop with the alcohol, stop with the drugs. Good morning, today is July 18th. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I want to welcome everyone to today's segment. Might not be a long one, but I wanted to say good morning and go over a few things. Um, the last couple days I've received a few uh, texts and emails from uh, a few friends of mine uh, to one, one of my friends that uh, uh, has had some issues uh, with sobriety and uh, has uh, possibly fallen off a few times and uh, has gotten up, listened to my, my exact instructions which is to dust your knees and keep going. Um, he, he's doing very well. He should be at uh, either day two or day three at this point. And um, so he is doing very well. Uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, just let everyone know that it's very important that we're not angry for what we don't have. But we need to be very thankful for what we do have. We do have family. We do have uh uh, loved ones, uh, we uh, hopefully all have sobriety. So let's not be angry that we don't have tons of money and we don't have beautiful cars and uh, uh, a huge house uh, because uh, we, we should be thankful that we have something. Many people all over the world that don't have anything and uh, that those people uh, are not angry. Uh, I will say this, uh, all my uh, years traveling to Alaska, uh, to do eyeglasses for the Eskimos. I will tell you, um, one thing I did notice about those folks is that they appreciate everything. And, and, and the same goes with the uh, mentally and physically challenged people. Uh, they are the happiest people in the world and uh, they appreciate everything. And it really comes down to one thing. And that one thing that I have figured out is that because um, uh, they don't know uh, what it's like to have everything, so they appreciate what they do have. So if you don't know what it's like to have great, beautiful cars and huge houses and whatever else, but be thankful for what you do have if you're driving that decent car and you have a home and you have family. And, you know, my website really uh, comes down to... Uh, uh, a motivational type of uh, website, and that is uh, to educate you and keep me educated with sobriety uh, and uh, addiction. Uh, so it's not to really sit here and uh, come up with all these solutions about life. However, you need to be motivated. If you're going to tackle addiction, if you're going to go head on with addiction, you need to be motivated. You need to uh, be inspired. Um, we, we, we cannot just say, okay, I'm going to uh, tackle sobriety. You need to come up with a game plan, which we've discussed a few times. And I'm going to go briefly over it really quick again. Uh, the first step is to say that you do have a problem. Uh, how do we do that? It's just exactly how I'm explaining it. I'm Ralph. I have an alcohol problem. So whoever you are, you have to admit you have an alcohol or addiction and addiction problem. I don't know if you might have both. I only have an alcohol problem. I've never had any addictions to drugs, thank God. Uh, but there are some people out there that might uh, have addictions to both. If you do have addictions to both, you need to first say, I have a problem. Once you have conquered that aspect, then you go to step two, and that's to seek treatment or a plan. One way is uh, to do it like I do, and that is on my own through you. So I sit here in my home right now and I'm talking to you and that's my treatment because I'm educating myself by educating you because it refreshes my mind daily of when, what I need to do to stay sober. So you need to do that. Either do it my way or seek uh, some uh, uh, programs like AA. AA works very well for millions of people just because it didn't work for me it doesn't mean it doesn't work. It's just that I had different uh, uh, goals to set for myself and AA wasn't uh, part of that uh, equation because I couldn't just sit in a room and discuss my addiction with uh, people. I needed to uh, have a plan. I needed to um, go with that plan daily. And one way is to go on my website. Oh, incidentally, I always try to start my program with my website address. That is www 
dot clearviews.info c-l-e-a-r v-i-e-w-s dot i-n-f-o that's clearviews.info you can also go to facebook which has uh, clearviews.info that's my page besides my personal page you can also reach me at 631-599-0218 that is my cell phone which i keep on 24 7 so if you need help call me I know some of you guys out there uh, have utilized that method, and I appreciate it. And that also does receive text. And I do have unlimited text, so it doesn't matter how many times you text me or call me, I'm good with it. Uh, also, you can reach me on my business number, which is my business, so uh, you don't have to uh, worry about having to go through a secretary or anything. So it is 1-844-393-9355. And uh, usually it goes to voicemail. However, as soon as the voicemail is left, an email gets uh, sent to me right to my cell phone. And I will retrieve that voicemail and get back to you as quickly as I can. So you have all those methods to get a hold of me. Oh, there's also my email address. I'm sorry. It's Ralph, R-A-L-F dot Friedrichs, F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at Yahoo.com. So now you have the method that I utilize. And for my friend um, that is uh, down south, uh, I suggested to him to utilize this method, uh, to keep a journal, uh, to uh, post things uh, whether it being on your Facebook, on your blog, whatever, to post things because as you're doing a journal or posting, uh, what that really does is it keeps your mind fresh. It keeps your mind on this subject of uh, addiction recovery. Um, you'll never ever totally eliminate alcoholism or uh, drug addiction. What you will do is fight it and live with it because once an alcoholic you're always going to be an alcoholic as I sit here a year and some uh, sober I'm still an alcoholic but I've learned to live with it and I've learned to fight it and that's what you need to do and, the, and, and you know what it really does work with the journals and the blogging speaking to people uh, like I'm doing with this video all those things do work so that that is that method and if you do want to go to AA that is great uh, go to AA as soon as you can um, as you sit there, kind of feel out different people and, and look for a sponsor for yourself. Uh, a sponsor uh, such as uh, someone that's uh, experienced maybe six months into a year of sobriety. Try to ask that person, can that person sponsor you? And you need to try to connect with this person on a daily basis, uh, if not a daily basis, every other day. And let this person know how you're doing or things as such. Uh, if anyone wants me to be a sponsor, although I am not pro AA, but I am pro helping. And if anybody wants me to sponsor them uh, in a non AA atmosphere or environment, feel free to utilize the information, contact information that I have left. And uh, I will be more than happy to sponsor you. Uh, and uh, it is a uh, sponsorship between you and me. There is no step-by-step uh, -step to go by. Uh, it is uh, more or less just a, a shoulder to lean on through your battle with addiction. Uh, if you're watching, and uh, like I've stated many times, if you're watching and you're having serious health issues due to your addiction, the alcohol and or drug addiction, uh, Obviously, going to AA or utilizing my steps right now is not going to help you because uh, you're pretty much that bad off. So do me a favor. Pick up the phone and call 911. Let them know you're having issues with breathing or whatever issues you might have. Just let them know. Go see a doctor immediately and uh, let them help you. And then when you are finished uh, seeking that, then uh, by all means, continue doing what you're doing. Uh, when it comes to uh, looking for a plan for addiction recovery and that is uh, again to utilize whatever method that you feel most comfortable for because that's really what it comes down to you need to be most comfortable with your plan because if you utilize a system or a plan that doesn't make you feel comfortable what happens to all of us when we're not comfortable we uh, avoid we uh, veer off that path and we don't want to do that so you need to find something comfortable I wasn't comfortable with AA so I decided to not do that and, and, and go do something else. You need to be comfortable for what you're doing and, and how your plan is. And it doesn't hurt to sit here 
uh, at wherever you're watching this and is to write down what you need to do step by step and try to follow that it's, it's, it's almost like I'm asking you to do homework follow that plan so now you have the three things you need to do number one I have a problem number two seek treatment and then the third method um, is to if it's severe enough and you don't feel comfortable with uh, seeking help through AA or through me uh, seek help through a rehab center if you go to my website www.clearviews.info go to page 7 on page 7 you'll see states click on the state you're, that you're in and you'll see a rehab center click on that contact that rehab center what what is great about a rehab center is that they will 24 7 follow up with you in their facility and help you uh, re uh, uh, beat addiction or uh, stay recovered from addiction they will help you if that's what you need if you are a per type of person that needs to be constantly reminded that uh, you have a problem and you need to have a structured plan that is the way to go uh, so certainly that's what you need to do then so you you have the three different ways of, uh, of doing it and there are many other ways but you have my way AA rehab center and then there are so many other uh, methods you can uh, uh, go to church uh, let God take care of your situation and I know a lot of people are probably saying well God really can't help you um, with your addiction that you need to do that but you know what uh, it is God that really directs you each and every day on, on your daily activities and, and if you just say God I have a problem and I need help um, he will help you that I can promise you because I see it in every person that, that uh, goes to God uh, for guidance and for uh, direction uh, they do get results another uh, avenue to utilize is your local uh, YMCA's they have programs so you have all these opportunities to help yourself but it's you that needs to do it it's not your neighbor it's not your wife it's not your children it is you that has to say I have a problem and I need help I want to save my marriage I want to save my children I want to save all my loved ones around me I want to save them to stay in my life and the only way to do that is for you to seek help so I'm sure I'm reaching out to somebody out there there's someone right now watching that is more than willing to do it but doesn't have that uh, that direction that they need and I'm giving you that direction I'm giving you different channels to, to go to different opportunities to go by um, you know I, I wish I can find out who you are but the only way for me to know is for you to call me 631-599-0218 email me at ralf.fried r-i-c-h-s at yahoo.com go to my website at www.clearviews.info or go to my uh, Facebook at clearviews.info so the only way I'm gonna know that you need help is for you to contact me because I really can't contact people I don't know that need help so please do that contact me in any which way yet you can and um, we'll, we'll work through this together so the moral of uh, the whole thing is is that don't be angry for what you don't have but be thankful very thankful for what you do have nothing is impossible there are no limitations you can do whatever you want there is no limitations what you can't do but you have to set your mind on not in order to set your mind is you have to have a clear mind in order to have a clear mind is you have to battle addiction whether it being alcohol and or drug addiction just believe that you can do it believe it to achieve it that's a simple slogan if you believe it you can achieve it and I promise you because I'm achieving things that I could never ever believe that I could do because you remember a sober today makes for a better tomorrow it really does I just hope to God if you're watching me right now and you honestly need help that you utilize that one of those methods that I've told you and I know it's it's hard uh, to, to, to really just get up and start doing something but that's what I'm here for please contact me and I know you can 
All it is is a phone call. All it is is a keyboard. All it is is, is uh, well, it's really those two things. A phone call or a keyboard to just type in an email, chat, do anything. But reach out to me. Reach out to AA. Reach out to a rehab center. But the thing is, is you need to reach out to someone. You can't just sit back and say yeah, each and every day, I'm going to do something. I'm going to shut this uh, uh, off in about two minutes. Uh, it's getting lengthy again. I do want to give a shout out to two separate uh, people, which names I won't mention. And that is to my friend uh, down in Virginia. I want to say thank you so much and congratulations for your uh, attempt at sobriety. And when I say attempt, it's because it's not so just words where you just say, I'm going to be sober. You need to attempt some of the things that I'm talking about. You need to do that. Utilize either my methods, AA, or if it's severe enough, go to rehab. So my friend down in Virginia, congratulations. Keep it up. You have to do it day by day. Only conquer 24 hours at a time. My friend way up north, congratulations to you also. Although you have fallen off the wagon a few times, you're back back into action full steam ahead I've told everyone many a times I have fallen off the wagon before I finally hit rock bottom and that's what it really comes down to rock bottom where you just don't know what to do anymore that's when you'll finally sober up uh, to sobriety literally speaking so congratulations to my friend down in Virginia and way up north and uh, I hope to God that you guys continue on the straight path of sobriety. If I can do anything whatsoever, you need to contact me. For anyone else that's out there, anyone watching this video, and this is going to be posted on YouTube, my website, Facebook, Google, Twitter, anyone that's watching this, contact me, 631-599-0218, ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot f-r-i-e-d-r-i-c-h-s at yahoo.com um, www.clearviews.info and on Facebook it is clearviews.info I just want to thank everyone for listening I hope to God that we all sober up to what I have to say thank you very much and remember nothing whatsoever is impossible and if you believe you can do it you will achieve so believe to achieve, please. Have a sober, sober day today because you will guaranteed have a better tomorrow. Thank you very much and have a great day.